President Trump turned 72 today, and received both love and scorn. President Trump turned 72 years old on Thursday. As the most powerful person in the world, he predictably received well wishes from across the globe, but his foes also took the opportunity to try and ruin his big day. All the love the president received a great public outpouring of affection from family, friends, allies, and supporters. Ivanka and Eric Trump took the lead on social media, posting pictures from their childhoods. Ivanka message to her dad, wishing you your best year yet. And Eric followed, saying, Happy birthday dad. It is amazing how far we have all come. We are very proud of you and everything you have accomplished. In a nod to the president's recent accomplishments, Donald Trump, Jr. posted a screenshot of the Drudge Report which declared today, Trump's best birthday. Economy, and Korea, World Cup, jobless 44-year low. From the world stage, Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu sent a birthday greeting via Twitter to America's 45th president on behalf of himself, his wife, and Trump's many friends in Israel. Indian right-wing activists from Hindu Sena have celebrated President Trump's birthday for the past three years, cutting a cake for him this year, as always, for the man who they refer to as the savior of humanity. All the nastiness many of the negative messages on social media cannot be published here due to foul language. But there are plenty of printable slights and actions to share. For instance, celebrity couple Chrissy Teigen and John Legend definitely had this day marked on their calendars. Chrissy in particular, who tweeted a link to the president's birthday card, telling her fans, just know this is his official birthday card so make sure it's from the heart, adding, happy birthday, champ. She also took time out of her busy schedule to post a statement on Twitter saying, John and I are outraged to see and hear the horror stories of immigrant families seeking asylum and refuge in America being ripped apart due to the inhumane policies of the Trump administration. Tigan goes on to talk about how cruel and anti-family the actions of the Trump administration are, with no mention of the fact that both the New York Times and Business Insider confirmed that this was a common practice during the Obama administration. Anyway. The Tigan Legend family donated $72,000 apiece to the American Civil Liberties Union in honor of what they sarcastically called the auspicious occasion, in order to make Trump's birthday great again. So basically, they presented the ACLU with $288,000 out of protest for the president's birthday. Chrissy and John have two young children. Several naysayers also reveled in the fact that New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood filed suit against the Donald J. Trump Foundation on Thursday, alleging that the organization was operated according to the president's whim, rather than the law. President Trump's eldest three children were also named in the lawsuit, which seeks to ban them from holding leadership positions in New York charities for one year. In response, President Trump tweeted, the sleazy New York Democrats, and they're now disgraced, and run out of town, A.G. Eric Schneiderman, are doing everything they can to sue me on a foundation that took in $18,800,000 and gave out to charity more than it took in, $19,200,000. I won't settle this case.